What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And what do you know? Two more certifications plus an extra training. I'm not sure if I could get a cert, but geez, I don't even know if I could accomplish it, but I've got to see if I could do it because it is mandatory for work. So I'm going to go in and show you what I'm going to be adding to my certification roadmap and also with training. Let's get right into it. So as you can see, um, I've been tasked with some threat hunting. Um, I know Splunk has changed. Last time I've done Splunk was 2019, 2020. Uh, I did their uh, advanced reporting, metrics and dashboards, and uh, Splunk Essentials 1, 2, and 3. Um, now, when I went back into the training recently to do this, uh, it's changed. And I know since it got bought out by um, or acquired by Cisco, their models and certifications change. I don't know what's free, what's not. I mean, it says it's free. You don't have to pay for like the super user, admin user uh, cert paths, um, but it looks a lot different uh, and it's changed a lot. So the ones that I was tasked with is uh, Splunk Security, SOC Essentials, Investigating and Threat Hunting. And then this one's the free one. Uh, I believe I can start this whenever I, I can. Uh, yeah, this is the free one. So um, work paid for this, uh, for these trainings at least. Uh, pretty much if your job has an account or if you have an account for that matter, some people do, you get training credits. Some uh, organizations have free unlimited uh, training credits. So I mean, people take whatever they, they get told to um, and they go pretty much crazy if it's unlimited. I don't know if they have that anymore, to be honest with you, since it got acquired by um, Cisco, but it was like that when I was at Box. Um, so pretty much here where I'm at currently, they don't have unlimited credits. So still got a lot, but you know, I only got what I needed. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get a certification for this, but I am going to do the training, um, uh, for the most part. I mean, I have to, um, so I will go over a review for the training if you guys want for Splunk. Um, however, I've also been tasked with this one. Um, not so much as mandatory, but it, I'm going to do it. Uh, just to pick up my threat hunting and you know to be a more solidified cybersecurity professional um i've always thought it's it's good to have the best of both worlds um as far as the skill set just because you know in case of a bad day scenario economic scenario um you could leverage one side or the other um especially if you need to get something quick but for the most part me being more offensive security heavy and that's always going to be my bread and butter um, my specialty that I like and the only one, the one that I am going to be high end, higher end on, um, this will allow me to not only have that extra skill set when I need it in my tool belt, but it's also going to be able to help me become a better offensive security, ethical hacker, uh, red teamer for that perspective, right? Getting to see how these tools and teams operate, how they function, how they move during certain, um, tabletop exercises, cyber ranges, or actual incidences, right? So um, this one, I will be going over, sheesh, uh, dang, I got my certification room, I got throwing a big ass curveball with this. So um, after the Splunk training, um, I am going to do, uh, what is it, February, so end of February, March. So about eight, uh, beginning of April, I will start this. Um, the good thing about this is I already use Splunk and um, CrowdStrike, which is, I believe, what, what they use in here, uh, if I remember, if I read correctly. I know I know I saw CrowdStrike. I could have sworn it was Splunk. Um, I might be wrong about Splunk. Don't quote me on the Splunk. But um, for that matter, the next one, um, oh, I will also do a review on this, the training, and then also once I pass the certification, the next one that I will be doing is the Threat Hunter course from CrowdStrike. Um, I finished it. Something happened with my account. Um, I had to go back and do it. So I'm going over the material now, redoing it again. Um, the only ones that I didn't finish, uh, let me go down here. There was two, two or three, I believe. Uh, not this one, that's the exam, uh, practice exam. So it was module, uh, 302 and uh, I thought it was, there was another one. 
Uh, yeah, 302, 201, and 202. Uh, due to the credits, so I have to get credits for those. They're working on getting us credits, uh, but I did finish all the stuff from the, the main path. Again, something happened to my account. I had to redo it. Um, and then also there's some that have updated. So um, I will be going through this again uh, this week and next week. And, you know, hopefully I can finish it then. Hopefully also by the end of two weeks, I get these credits so I could complete the full path of the training. I'll do a review on this as well. Um, I'm probably going to take this first before I take this one, uh, just because I'm more familiar with it. Uh, and, you know, I actually use CrowdStrike for work. Not not as much as, you know, I I, I pop in there just to, to go over stuff that I read. Uh, but what I do do for CrowdStrike is they have free webinars or web seminars or whatever they call it. I believe they're every Wednesday, if I remember correctly. I haven't done it, done it in a while, but when we first got CrowdStrike, I pretty much did them for like eight months straight. Um, so they do have those that are free. Uh, I believe they're still, they were free. I believe they still are free. Um, those are great for you to get in and learn. Uh, you know, they'll give you logins, set you up with the URLs and links similar to Splunk training. They'll have their own data sets and stuff like that. You go off of in the training as well. So these, uh, th I, I love cloud, uh, CrowdStrike, CloudStrike. I love CrowdStrike. Um, pretty much their platform is great. It's pretty much a one-stop shop. However, those do have pros and cons, especially if there's a kink in the chain up top, something happens, someone leaves, someone makes a bad decision, the company could go to hell. Um, it's happened before, and um, you know these were some of the critical issues that they had with physical security, getting a one-stop shop for all. Um, however, they have a great team. I love it. Um, I don't see that happening in the near future. It would be stupid for them to do that. Um, they got a, the best product out there, in my opinion, um, and all their products work and are functional. Um, yeah, you can't beat it. So, um, and I'm not sponsored by CrowdStrike at all. I just use them. Um, and I also use them for home for my personal um, stuff as well. Not everything, but I got a couple licenses that I pay for on my own. So I will be doing this one, doing the Splunk training. Again, I'm not sure if, I, if that gets a, a certification for the SOC analyst threat hunter. But if it does, I will uh, go for it. Um, then I will complete this one as well, do the certification. I'll do a review on both. And then in April, beginning of April, second week of April, I am going to start this and get this one knocked out. Um, and hopefully, you know, I heard good things about this one compared to the OSCP. Um, and it's pretty more real life with the tools that, that are in here. Um, it's similar to the, some of the ones that I use uh, for work if I'm on the threat hunting side or there's an incident. So I'm looking forward to this as well. I hear this one is a great course. Um, I haven't took it. I haven't even signed up for it. Haven't done the training. Haven't even seen the training, but from what I hear, I hear it's really good. So um, just wanted to give you a quick update on my training uh, that got thrown a curveball. And again, the Splunk stuff is mandatory, but the other two are not so much, um, but I want to pursue it. The CrowdStrike administrator one was uh, mandatory or uh, the field. You don't have to get the cert, but we had to do some of the main training. But the 300 one I am going to get and, uh, you know, go on, go on my own. Um, and then also the offset one. So just want to give you a quick video um, update onto my training. I'm still going to, you know, knock everything else out. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this one. Um, again, building the skill set the knowledge base and the foundation for the threat hunting, having the best of both worlds. Again, whether something happens or not, and I need it, or, um, you know, it just gives you that better, um, better foundation to understand the blue side of, th of things or the blue side team uh, or team blue, whatever you want to call it, as a pen tester, red teamer, offensive security professional, knowing how they operate, move and function. So that's the video. Please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if I'm doing too much or if you think I probably won't complete everything. So, uh, yeah, I'll be doing some videos out this week. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update and uh, see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.